You're listening to the Davy Mac Sports Program on the Riotcast Network, riotcast.com. It's the Davy Mac Sports Program. It's the Davy Max Sports Program on Riotcast.com. That's right. And here's your host, Dave McDonald. Thank you yeah. very much. Yes, sir. We Woo. are back in the year 2013. Davy Max yeah. Sports Program. Yeah. You like it? That's my name. Yeah. My name, ladies and gentlemen, as you are well aware of, Eastside Dave McDonald, a.k.a. Yeah. Davey Mac. Yeah. Come on. Davey Another Mac. round of applause Davey for him. Yeah. 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 Davey, Davey Mac. Mac. Davey Mac. Davey Mac. Davey Mac. Davey Mac. Wow. Sound a little, yeah. a, a little Lord of the Flies-ish. Kind of creepy Good. and weird. Good. Let's kill it's someone. It's not the usual, you know, Davey Mac. Davey Mac. It was Davey, Davey Mac. Mac. <laughs> kind of like... Andy Dick came in here and just started a chant. Davey Davey Mac. Mac. Let's kill Roy. Davey Davey Mac. Mac. With me as always, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Chris Pepper Stanley. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Pepper. Coming off Thank a 12-day bender. Never looked so good. 12 days strong. Never looked so sharp, baby. That's right. Strong. With me as always, the man who begins this show by hitting the music, getting the thing ready, getting the audio in check. Ladies and gentlemen, the engineer short Nick. Shut up. Shut the two-time Emmy Award-winning musician, late to get his tea, Roy Schaefer. Roy! Yeah. Roy! Yeah. Can't begin the show with the rest of us. Has to walk in fashionably late. Unbelievable. With his goddamn tea. Unprofessional. You know, it, it, it's it, he's got me in such an exacerbated mood tonight, Chris Peppa Stanley. Yeah, Dave. I, I have never felt this way. It's what happens when you deal with these goddamn musicians. They have a lot of problems. It's, personal problems. It's, it's attitude. It's diva. Well, they're it's, artists, Dave. They're it's, artists. It's, you know what LVS is? Lead vocalist syndrome. <laughs> I believe that was a, ter- uh, a terminology f- coined by uh, Mr. Keith Richards. Oh. Or it was Joe Perry. Or just one of the millions of embittered guitarists out there. <laughs> So one They're of the guitarists, yeah, angry. Slash may have done it. Uh, I'm not exactly sure. Unless you're a lead vocalist and a uh, lead singer. By the way, the Cuertos, uh, my band, greatest band in New Jersey, um, which, who knows, we may have a date. Uh, we may actually play live for an actual audience. I wow. thought Mr. Danger doesn't like playing live. Um, no, 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 no. Oh, excuse that's, me. That's... Jeffrey Danger, our guitarist, would love a live audience. Oh, okay. Our keyboardist, Jason Ruffian, oh, excuse me. Yeah, um, is said he will, <laughs> he never wants to play in front of people. Hey, know. Dave, so that, coach, why. put me in. I you do play keyboards, yeah, right? But you know, wow. the, you, is the Cuertos breaking up already? I don't know. Uh, you know, well, 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 Roy's actually on the website, thequertos.com. Okay, really? which is yet a new website that I've created for myself. As if I don't have enough headaches with my own Twitter account at Eastside Dave, Facebook Eastside Dave, Instagram Eastside Dave, Eastside Dave and now I have to add a goddamn website. But I thought you would get a kick out of this, Pepper. Uh, we had uh, three new videos that we added to our set. Oh. I believe they were, um, let's see, uh, Redemption Song by Bob Marley. Nice. And Joe Strummer. I mean, it's more nice of the Joe Strummer type of right. thing. Um, there was, uh, and two other videos. I don't even remember. That's okay. But in the background for all three videos was fish on the widescreen television. 
Because my friend Jeffrey Danger is an even more fish fan than Chris Pepper Stanley. Was it a documentary wow. or was it just live shows? No, he paid Bootlegs? $20 for the concert for the concert at Madison Square Garden. <laughs> Why? And then, he, then he streamed it. it. Right. And then yeah, he paid that for Friday. And then he went Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Whoa, that's He hardcore. went three days and then still needed to see the Friday show. That's so he paid 20 bucks that's online. A, that's a real fish head. Yeah. That's for real, man. That's a problem, my friend. And I know Pepper loves the uh, the band The Fish. Uh, you or love just them? just Fish, not The Fish. You, you love them, though, right? Would they be your favorite? No. They're, they're more than The Pixies? No. Pixies are more? Yeah, probably Warren Zevon's number one, though. Get Whoa. out of town. Oh, yeah. You don't like Warren Zevon. Huh? What are you uh, talking about? Ooh. Pepper London. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. He has that one Halloween song. What else has he done? He has a bunch of albums, Dave. I never heard of him. We've listened to it before. <laughs> Drinking. Nope. Not me. No, I don't no, like no, Warren Z. Well, you. No, 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 no. I prefer the. Lying. I prefer JB. Oh. Mr. Jimmy Buffett. That's oh, who yeah. I prefer to Warren Z. We've gotten drunk and listened to that, too. Well, I just go by alphabetical, and JB comes before WZ. Okay, pal? Um, we have a gigantic uh, program for you this evening, but I want to start off, and we're going to get into the Jets very, very shortly, but I do want to start off with a very special um, a shout out to my dear old mother. Aww. Her name is Beanie McDonald, and it, She's it's handful. her uh, birthday, so a big happy birthday yeah. to happy my mom. Happy birthday, Beanie. So this was a tough year for my mom as the Giants did not make the playoffs. And the Yankees, who did make the playoffs, were an absolute train wreck. They didn't deserve to be circus in the playoffs, playoffs. freak show. Orioles should have been there. The A Rod pinch hittings, and then the A Rod benchings, and then the sweep of the Tigers <laughs> uh, put my mom into a serious depression. Um, some of you may remember this uh, uh, voice message she left for me in mid October during the. Um, during the uh, Yankees Tigers series, right before the Yankees got swept by Detroit, here is my mom calling up and leaving a voice message. Hey, try it, mom. <laughs> well, Yankees look pretty bad. Giants looks good. Jeter looks bad. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, you can give me a ring sometime. <laughs> Talk to you later, bye. There's nothing like saying happy birthday than the crushed soul yeah. of a 72-year-old woman. And there was like a weird rap song who, playing uh, in the background. Yeah, it was. Well, no, you know what? I, I figured it out that um, I, I took that audio from my phone and uh, did it at my radio station that I work at. When oh. I, I destroy the mornings in New Jersey, uh, 90.5 the night. Nothing but rap. Uh, right? Dave and Michelle, where we just destroy it all the time. <laughs> Not not rap, but um, some some no no not even uh. actually no urban music of any kind. It's very white. It's a very Caucasian station. Uh. It's a it's it's alternative alternative rock. But I still for the life of me cannot. I've Zapruder filmed the hell out of that. Mm -hmm. I still cannot figure out what song was playing in the background. I almost feel like God this time, but then it just it just gets. Right, let, let's hear time. it one more time just to see if anyone can hear even the background music. Here we go. But but I mean, oh. listen to how my mom and, and you, this is when Jeter got hurt, you know, with the Orioles, and she was yeah. just oh my. She should have been. It was a sad day. She knew what was going to happen. Hey, it's Bob. <laughs> well, Yankees look pretty bad. Giants looks good. Tricky. No. Jeter looks bad. I don't know. Well, you can give me a ring sometime. Talk to you later. Bye. Okay. I, I know can, what the song is. I almost, I, it might yeah, either be yeah. a David Johansson or a Goo Goo Dolls thing, but it's like, uh, hit me with that rhythm stick. That's what it is. Hit me with that rhythm stick. By who? Who, who did that? Uh, that is, uh, oh. Give uh, that to Sean O. If you, if you remember. Or hit me with the, the rhythm stick. Pepper, who did that? Sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Ian uh, Dury? Ian Dury. Thank you. All right, Shono, you, you look that up and uh, in, up. in the meantime. Boy, that is great job on my part. It's weird. That's why they say, you know, sometimes you, you put something away. You put yeah. a great novel away, you right. come back to it. Uh -huh. In the moment, in October, when, that, uh, when my mom gave me that phone call, I could not figure out for the life of me what that song is. That's, this is definitely it. This is definitely it. Yeah. Just classic. Go, try go to the chorus a little bit. Fast forward. Ian Dory, he's... Oh, All right, this is probably where it's going to hit me. Hit me, hit me, hit me. Hit me with your rhythm stick. Hit me slowly. Hit me quick. Hit me. Hit me. This is the type of music you're going to be hearing on 90.5 tonight, baby. 
lots of Every pockets. Bit. No, we do play a lot of Warren Zeeb on Pepper, so it might be your favorite station of all time. I'll start listening. All right, now go back to the voice message it's just to prove, because I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm right. Now, if you listen to it, how did we not how did we not figure that out in October when we first played the message? Because we tried to figure out that. Pretty bad. Okay. Giants looks good. Jeter looks bad. Yeah, listen. I don't know. Yeah, that's it. Well, you can give me a ring sometime. Talk to you later. Bye. That it was hit yeah. me with that rhythm stick. Yeah, totally. Roy. Yeah, you're right. Thank. You. Come on. Could have been. Was. So Could've a nice happy there. birthday to but, my mom. Was that really your mom? <laughs> no, it's it was me. I was doing it's an old woman that I've paid, <laughs> right. and that old woman's name is Pepper, apparently. Right. Just, and uh, the yeah, the Giants look good. <laughs> <laughs> that's what she sounds like. The Giants look good. <laughs> that's what I. That's what I. Cheetah looks bad. Yankees look bad. Giants look good. Anyway, call me up sometime. <laughs> Not even like, hey, give me a call later. Call me up sometime. I'm so goddamn depressed. She was really down with these. Freaking Yankees! Oh, it ruined the poor woman's 2012. I had to remind her, Mama, Mama. If, you, if you go back to February of 2012, <laughs> the goddamn Giants won the Super Bowl. Furthermore, we have ourselves a Notre Dame Fighting Irish football team playing for the national championship on Monday. Thank you. That's nice. And we are Notre Dame fans in the household, being that we all have red hair. Yeah. There's 30 of us in the same household. Wait, what? And there, oh, yeah. Well, we had uh, our, our cousins moved in recently. Times are tough ever since Hurricane Katrina. That was about eight years ago. <sighs> right now. Times have been really tough, brother. <laughs> Scurvy enthusiasm? <laughs> really, really tough. Did Jamie Smooth have moved in? I, I mean, Hurricane Sandy, whichever one it is. Katrina, Sandy. Yes. I get him confused, How? dude. How? It's still totally different parts of the country. Let me tell you something, Peppy Hamburger. What are you tell me? <laughs> These goddamn Jets. Oh, well, wow, it's great. Are such a scumbag organization. And I want to be on the record to say this. Jets fans, this is not going against you. I thought about this today. As a Yankee fan in the late 80s, early 90s, where the organization was terrible, Steinbrenner was firing managers all the time, yeah. trading away great prospects like Doug Drabeck and on and on and on. Fred McGriff was a part of the Yankees organization back then. He got traded away for some usually 36-year-old has-been slugger who was 20 pounds overweight past his prime. And Steinbrenner was right about to be banned from baseball. Um, for, you know, remember, for two or three years suspended. Uh, that was a horrible organization. It's a dark time. I was still a Yankees fan. So I'm not, this is not going against Jets fans. Right. But this organization, are they are the scum of the earth at this point. They don't know what they're doing, and they treat their players badly. It, it's not even that, too. This Rex Ryan runs that goddamn entire football organization, and... He, he was t tied with this Mike Tannenbaum. He was the general manager of the Jets. Yeah. All Rex Ryan does is pop his mouth off. We have the best team of all time. He said, he said before this year, this is the most talented team I've ever had yeah. in my life. He says constant boast after constant boast puts the pressure on everybody. They fail miserably. And the one that gets fired is the GM, who we never heard of. And not Rex Ryan. Meanwhile, here's the scummy part. When the media tries to get to Rex Ryan and the owner, Rex Ryan's in the Bahamas. Atlantis. Getting away, yeah, from the goddamn heat. And the, and the, and, and the owner is in a quote, I read this in the New York Post, a location undisclosed. Oh. <laughs> like it's the goddamn mafia. He's in parts unknown. They, they are, yeah, they're hiding out. I, the ne uh, next thing I know, I'm going to see Rex Ryan trying to hang out with Johnny Cakes. At some diner in New Hampshire. He's saying that he's getting gonna... foot jobs and having <laughs> gay sex. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's I can be even more blunt. Hardcore. Uh, Not that that is anything wrong with that, as the Seinfeld people would say. And now they're going to get fined by the NFL because they have till Tuesday to uh, actually address the media. They have no, to address they, the media. They had to by, I think, the end of the week. It was one week of when the football season ends. So it was Sunday to Sunday, and they're going to address the media on Tuesday. And so the NFL oh, yeah, is going to yeah. have some sort of weird <laughs> sanction on them. But they're literally hiding out. That's the part. So they let this Mike Tannenbaum GM take all the heat. 
He had to go up. Yeah. To, you know, uh, the media had to destroy him. And there's Fatso wrecked the biggest mouth in the NFL. And all he does is talk. And the one time we want to hear him talk, he's not available. He's hiding out. I don't even know where the Bahamas is, but it sounds like some goddamn European BS country that wants to declare war on American freedoms. And I'm not going to do that. And I'm not eating French fries because of it. That's the Caribbean. Whatever. Just blow Florida. I know you're a 12 day bender, baby. That's right. But I'm all hopped up on Floexitine. Give me some. Let's keep it going. Fine. Where's your coat, <laughs> Josh? Where's my goddamn coat? Oh, Tan- Josh? Tannenbaum took a lot of the Thank heat. You, Josh. But once Rex Ryan opens his mouth, he will get destroyed. It doesn't matter. Everyone realizes that Rex Ryan is just as big as a problem as uh, Tannenbaum. Enjoy it. Have some of that. Chase it down with some Jameson. I'll have some. I'll chase it down with Jameson. And then you and I will hold hands, get up on that ledge. On the twentieth floor, high above Times Square, yeah. and jump out, be, jump right out, that'll be great. and then we demand because we're still under contract from Riotcast.com. <laughs> not that we weren't happy because we're not, but we're still under contract. We demand that Roy Schaefer and Sean O continue to do the show, and it has to be a sports show. No problem. All right, All right. we could. I could do this. All right, give give this. me exactly. Pepper, you time it. Give me exactly one minute of sports talk Let's between talk. Roy Schaefer and Sean O All right. right now. Starting yeah. now. So what do you think about this Tannenbaum situation? <laughs> <laughs> you just heard us talk. Okay, wait. I can't interrupt. Start again. That's topical. But you just heard us. Yeah. You're, so you're just... Rep- I'm saying I'm you have to come up with your own... No. You have to come up with your own topic. I didn't know if they were going to get some analysis on it. I don't I f- know. I feel like you left the topic wide open there. And uh, <laughs> Go fair, ahead. Fair. Go ahead. I guess this is around the horn now. Fair enough. Go ahead. All right. Start now. So now. what do you think about this Tannenbaum guy? I think it's terrible. Did you know that Tannenbaum means a Christmas tree in German? Really? Did yeah. you know that, that in Germany, the original, the origin of the Christmas tree came yeah. from a Roman tradition really? in which they took uh, round wreaths. Mm-hmm. Also, r- speaking of round, yeah. balls. Oh. <laughs> balls are round also, which yeah. is what they use for 30 play, seconds. To play 30 soccer. seconds remaining oh. of the worst show I, in the history of broadcasting. Uh, well, well Tannenbaum means all these interruptions. Christmas tree in Germany. <laughs> Well, also, uh, balls, uh, like you mentioned, Roy, yeah. I, I use that. I use a ball to go bowling with, my bowling ball. Bowling, that's a great sport. I love bowling. <laughs> yeah. Do you know any good bowlers? Uh, I'm a great bowler. Time! <laughs> that was horrible. But it doesn't matter. For the people on Riotcast.com and iTunes, and I guess iTunes probably won't be giving a Best of 2013 award well, we got to 12. that version of the Davy Mac Sports <laughs> Program. It might grow. We don't know. And I still want my name on the bill. And I st- I'm still having my cartoon face in all of the posters. Oh, you you guys just have to come in. You can even call yourself Dave Schaefer and Sean Pepper or Pepper Sean or Sh- Pepperro or whatever the hell you want right. to do. Pepperro is good. Pepperro! That's easy to say. <laughs> I think your suicide might violate my lease, though. We might have to vacate it's the premises. It's a double suicide. Yeah. Give it credit. Yeah. You just minimized my suicide in half. He's coming with me. Yeah, I'm going to kill myself. Actually, he's going to push me out oh, murder suicide. because I, I want to go to heaven so I don't believe in suicides because of the Robin Williams movie What Dreams May Come, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. That's what Academy Award winning. That's the thing that made you believe. That was the movie. Very colorful. And what was cool was Cuba Gooding Jr. was a black guy who was showing him around this dream place. It turns out Cuba Gooding Jr. was his son. Can you believe wow. that? And no, because he's black. It, it tur- didn't make any sense. I still was, can't wrap my head around and it. And he was dead the whole time. Dead the whole day. Well, they were all in heaven, Sean. Yeah, I know. Well, yeah, so, I mean, what the hell are you talking about? They were about? all dead the whole time. I feel like ruining Boardwalk Empire for Sean, who's on uh, <laughs> season don't. two. Ruin it for him. Okay. Because <laughs> <laughs> that little kid, Teddy, <laughs> watch out for him. You know, Steve Buscemi's stepson or the Irish girl's uh, son, Teddy? Yeah. yeah. Cuckoo! Cuckoo! Listen, Sean. Okay, stuff. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Fire! Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> I'm not going to ruin the season three for Boardwalk Empire. I'm not. T- will you tell him that those Sean, were all it's just fine? It's just that was just a joke He's with Teddy. Fire! Screw Fire! Me. Screwing around. Why do you have these rags? Anyway, oh, come on. You don't listen. You I'm don't just know. making stuff up. You don't know yeah, what the hell I'm silly, talking about. This is about. silly talk. Yeah. And then here's the. I would like to do the impression of the that that new character. Who came on season three? The bad, the main bad guy who came in. He got guns. You got guns. 
We all got guns. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, buddy. Thank you for that. <laughs> Isn't that that's that's what he pretty spot he on? He was a hundred percent stealing. From Al Pacino, yeah. and specifically from Big Boy, the character in Dick Tracy. <laughs> it was uh, his entire that entire character was Big Boy from Dick Tracy without the fat suit. Right. His, every time he talked, we got guns. I got guns. Everybody got guns. It's like well, you you don't talk like that. Yeah. I'm gonna get you down. Here's a puppy for you, Nuggy. Anyway, so I'm just so. It's a disgrace that the uh, Jets have, have done that, that Rex Ryan can't face the fire and is hiding out like a fat pussy. What's even stranger is that <laughs> they haven't fired Sperano yet, even though he's just didn't a talk. hot, wet, fat <laughs> pussy. Yeah. That's what he is. That's been texted to dudes in the middle of the night. <laughs> wow. And you know Creepy. what I'm talking about. It's creepy. It's actually it's dis creepy. It's disrespectful. It's disrespectful. It's nothing that I want to be a part of. Frankly, horse. Right? This guy knows what I'm talking about. All right. So th th this guy. <laughs> this is Davy Mac's manager extraordinaire. I'm not saying Josh no. Eldridge, who is going to pitbull Sirius XM in the in the next 48 hours. Yeah. Strong arm him. Otherwise. I am going to, um, you, you know, like when people do tandem skydiving. Yeah, oh. I'm going to put uh, myself and Josh in a tandem skydiving outfit, and then he's coming with us off the oh, cliff. Good, I was expected that. Twenty floors happen. high, oh. and it's going to be a, a triple suicide. That's in the contract. Either. Well, really, it's a homicide double suicide because I still want to be pushed out. So actually, if Josh is with me, it's really a double homicide suicide. Whatever. Okay, I don't care where I go. All right, just. Put me out. You wouldn't mind? I mean, if you knew you were going to kill me and I said, or you're going to kill yourself, yeah. and I said, Pepper, do me a favor. If you have a gun, shoot the Dave man first. Would you do that? I'd do it for you, Dave. If we were locked into a murder suicide bet, yeah, I'd do you. No problem. Yeah, I would too. Yeah. <laughs> Gladly. I, I'd do you. Yeah, I, I, I just yeah. blast me? your head. I touch it. Across do me? the wall. And I got guns. Do me? You have a shotgun? I do. All right. 12 gauge. Bring that in to oh, Skinny Man. It's going to be a close cast. Bring that in to Skinny Man next Wednesday. Okay. And yeah. we're going to do it either live on the David Mack Sports Program, yeah. or we might save it for next Wednesday's episode of The Watchers, oh, which good. we... And by the way, I can't wait for next Wednesday. You've because seen... We're, well, well I, I've gone screener crazy. Yeah. I'll give people a little hint of what's coming up on The Watch. I saw Silver Linings Playbook. I didn't see that. I That's saw, a good one. I Her saw... I saw Lincoln. I saw Lincoln. I saw The Master. I saw The Master. I saw Flight... Great. I saw there's a couple other ones. The Hobbit. Nice. Uh, these you got are all a screener of the Hobbit. Hobbit. I got a screener That's of. Awesome. I got a screener of the new Batman. So we're gonna discuss this without. We have not seen it, Dave. You I've know seen that. most of them. Except Start the get Hobbit. join the Writers Guild and okay. get some screeners <laughs> within the next. Easy enough. It comes to the Christmas right. seven party days. Okay. Okay. It might okay. be on Netflix, right, Shauna? Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> Definitely. They got um. So that's what uh, people have in store for the Watchers. But yeah, I mean. I'm just disgusted. I'm disgusted by Rex Ryan. I'm disgusted by Woody Johnson. The whole and, you know, his progeria face. Well, the only reason it's they're saying that Don't Ryan you think? might stay. Yeah, he's a creepy old man. He's he, got a progeria face. He owns a face. football team. They're all creepy old men that look like jerks. But progeria-ish. Yeah, sure, Dave. Yeah, you're a right. A little progeria. bit, right? Yeah, I, I see it. Whatever. Whatever it's, you want. You don't, you don't even know what he looks like, Sean. Oh, Google yes, image do. a picture of Woody Johnson. Looks You'll like see. A, looks like a young kid that looks old. <laughs> Go ahead. I lost my train of thought. That is the you definition. Kept on yelling progeria at me. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> what did you want to say, Peppa? They're keeping Ryan because they don't want to dump the cash. Yeah, their entire Tannenbaum Doesn't actually it did screw the organization up. He screwed up their salary cap. He screwed up their draft picks. It's going to take years right. and years for them to hold, get it together. Hold the phone. From every insider uh, who is familiar with the Jets, they're saying Tannenbaum didn't make one move without Rex Ryan. And in many cases, he made moves, Rex he made Ryan moves before Rex Ryan was in the organization. And made, and many, he those Nvidia. moves were good. Some of the defensive players, but but the overpaying of Tim Tebow was a, a, a something that Rex Ryan was cool with, wanted to go along with. Who knows? The, you why. know, p picking up Plaxico, which he wasn't horrible, but still, he got I think a million or two million just for the the, the, the year they play in the Jets. It was crazy. Wow. And, and they're saying, you know. And Ryan only has one more year. So how are you going to get a GM for the Jets 
and, and and want to keep Rex Ryan. Well, that's also what they're saying is that they're waiting to hire a new GM before they decide on Ryan. They're going to let the Wiz Johnson's well, going to let the new GM. Rex Ryan is gone because no GM, so, for the Jets' sake. no GM wants to come in with Rex Ryan. No GM will want to have Rex Ryan as their coach. <laughs> Not after the any- baggage that this guy has brought. Why would anyone want him other than as a defensive coordinator? The only thing Rex Ryan's brought to the table was foot fetish videos. And let's be honest. Those are awesome. They were hot as hell. Yeah. I like the I liked when uh, he was pretending that he was a cop and his wife oh, that's uh, the sexiest one. 50 year old feet were hanging out of the car. Mm-hmm. And, and he was like, well, What are you doing with your feet? <laughs> Is that a. Whoa. I'm just rubbing them, just touching them. You're, you you, you're just touching your feet? You, you mind if I sniff them a little? Creepy. That's awesome. That's seriously the best thing that's happened to the Jets in years. I mean, in terms of a Roy's looking at us like he has no idea what we're talking about. You've never heard that Rex Ryan. This is actually true. The Jets football coach okay. was found to have made foot fetish videos with his wife. And upload them to YouTube. Um, and his they he, they uploaded them. His wife is in the car. Her yeah. feet are dangling out. Dangling and he down. he's pretending that he's a, a a cop who has just pulled her over. Oh wow! And he's like, "What are you? What, what's the?" What, what, why are your feet out? She's like, I, well, I'll put my feet back in the car if you want me to. <laughs> Dirty yeah. No, no, I, you can keep your feet out. They're, they are kind of pretty. Oh. And you're just like, oh, my God. This is amazing. This is so uncomfortable, and yet my d- so hard. What? Is that the mark there? Really? No, I didn't want to say that. You just, just, just did. Strike that from the record. It's, okay? it's recorded. I, we have a big meeting. We have two big meetings at SiriusXM. They don't need to hear that. Okay? They don't need to hear it. So Stanley Pep. Take this out too, then us saying that. Take that. it all out. Let's just start the goddamn show from the beginning, Sean. Let's just do it all from the beginning. And you know, we'll start it over. There we go. When people are gonna hear this, this thing. Cool, cool, cool drives. Drop. This is a cool drive. Yeah, I believe. Okay, name the sporting event. The Giants game. Giants who? That oh, was the, Giants the, the Dodgers. New York, the New York Giants. This is Larry Bird yep, Pistons that, playoffs. Yeah. Uh, Joe Frazier. Did you know that? Frazier who? Uh, fighting who? Uh, fighting the... Uh, Muhammad Ali. Ali. George Foreman. Foreman. Wrong. Next. Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan versus who? Uh, the, 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 the LA Lakers uh, finals. Yeah. In your life. In your life, you ever see that? Who was that? Uh, uh, Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods. Yeah. Masters. Wide right. Who was that? Uh, uh, NASCAR. Uh, uh, no. Behind the Scott Norwood Bills Giant yes. Super Bowl. Who's this? It's a Buckner. Bro. Buckner who? Uh, Max Boston. World Max. Series. World Series. Who's this? Um, uh, Ron uh, Pele. Stanford, California. The band runs onto the field. California Bears win. What's this? A big America. America, Russia. Winter Olympics 1980. Davey back. Rocky Balboa. Shut up, Roy. <laughs> All right. Anyway. We are back, Eastside Dave McDowell, back from a long vacation. Chris Pepper standing Great. to my left. Oh, thank you, Dave. We got shot out with us. Roy Schaefer. Anyway, I want to do a, a thing where I, I, I want to say happy birthday to my 71-year-old mom. Oh, Jesus Christ. And I want to play a phone call, and then we're going to try and decipher what the song is. Okay, we're going to do that live months ago, on the we, air. We tried months to find ago. that out. And if you listen closely, wow. I think it hit me, hit me with, with the rhythm, rhythm stick. stick. Hit me with the rhythm stick. That's right. That's right. And Dury, and Dury, and Dury, and Dury. And Dury. And Dury. And now, let me tell you something, Pepper. Yeah, Dave. These goddamn Jets are the biggest bunch of scumbags you, bo- you have ever seen in your goddamn life. You believe Rex okay. Ryan's hiding down in the and Bahamas? And Josh is having some female issues. <laughs> Because there's some goddamn texts going out that I Sex. don't appreciate. Sex, really. They are sex with Josh, and it's ruining the goddamn kid's life. It's what about that Tunnenberg guy? I need my goddamn manager to be concentrating on one thing, Davey Mac McDonald. Hey, hey Roy, hey. do you know Tannenbaum means Christmas tree? That's German? right. We From the old Romans. Romans. We're oh, not going on, back stop. that far. That was the bad That's part. Oh, the, that was the on. horrible part of the show. I have the Nothing. Ball. No more. Murder, suicide. Now let's move on. Pepper. Andy Reid is going to the Kansas City Chiefs. That's what it looks like. Here's I thought something. he should go to the Browns. I know this is um, visual, so I'm going to ask Sean O to uh, um, hold this up to the camera for the fine folks who are watching on Ustream. But here's the thing. Every time I see Andy Reid, I can no longer trust him because as Sean O is showing, he looks exactly like Wilfred Brimley. Which and one's I, Wilfred Brimley? I will never. <laughs> that's my exact point. <laughs> 
All I know is one of them had a dog killer for a quarterback, and the other one says diabetes. <laughs> and, and I'm not sure which one is which. The fact that every time I see Andy Reid these days, and I'm, 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 I'm expecting him to either sell me oatmeal or some old person product or diabetes or, or be in cocoon or Reverse something. Mortgage. I bet he shaves the stash for the I can't job. do it. Shave the mustache. Get rid of the goddamn Benjamin Franklin bifocals for crying out loud. You look like goddamn Wilfred Brimley, Andy Reid. And it's goddamn distracting. Davey Mac can't get in here, talk to Pepper about sports if I'm staring at goddamn Wilfred Brimley all maybe, goddamn day. Maybe we should take that picture down then. <laughs> It's too distracting. <laughs> Best Wilford Brimley role, name it. Cocoon. 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 Oh, uh, yeah. Cocoon. All three of you are sons of bitches. This is a sports show. He was Pops, the manager in The Natural. He was sensational. He needed uh, to win the pennant with the Roy Hobbs home run. Once Roy Hobbs hits the home run, Pops gets control of the New York Knights. That was sensational role. That's Wilford Brimley's best role, you sons of bitches. The firm. He was also great in the firm yeah, because he played a firm. bad guy. Like he was that. really evil in that. He That's was very evil. Diabetes commercial. Stop That's, it. It's a commercial. That's the ninth time we brought up diabetes. God We're not doing it. another flashback show, okay? We only do one flashback show What's per show. your problem? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> We only rewind this thing once. Don't start the call. Start it again. Okay, name the clips. God, I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm still on a bender. Groundhog. Giants, down. Dodgers. How did you guys not know the Giants win the pennant was the shot heard round the world? Seriously, probably the most singular, famous home run in baseball history. You ever seen Ken Burns baseball? You, 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 you want to boil everything down to what is the home run of all time. And, and you're talking Bobby Thompson yeah. hits a home run off Ralph Branca. Yeah. The Dodgers that year were something crazy, like 14 games in first place. The Giants kept coming back, coming back, coming back. They had one game for it all for the National League pennant. Yeah. They're up. The Dodgers are up in the ninth inning. Branca comes in. Yeah, he, he, he faces Bobby Thompson. I believe it was uh, maybe a four to two with two on. Bam! Boom! High fastball. Boom! Over count? the left field fence. Now, what was the count three? Full a lot count? of controversy. Some people say the Giants had stolen the signs of the Dodgers, and that there was a a giant guy the in scoreboard. yeah through the scoreboard. And there's two different stories. One, he would throw up a towel if it was a fastball. The other story was they actually did have some sort of um, like a telescope thing that he was able to, to sh shine, shine the, reflect the, the, the yeah, re reflect the thing. And if he could reflect the sun, it meant a fastball. That's awesome. But well, I don't buy. Is that, that illegal? You, can you not? If you steal don't get signs? caught, if you get uh, caught, it's I illegal. Don't yeah, it's is it? it's prob there is probably somewhere in baseball where I would think you could certainly. Steal signs and tip the guys off if you're on base. It, oftentimes, uh, like a, for instance, Ricky Henderson would get the first, steal second. Yeah, then he he sometimes the would around. he yeah he would sometimes look at the signs, touch his cap, his helmet. I mean, should say if it was say a fastball. But I, I don't think it would be legal if you're doing it off the field. If you're and a, you're not a, a player on, in the game, like yeah. if you're just some dude they hired. I, I would <laughs> think that that would be. But again, that's all hearsay. It just seems and you guys don't know anything about it. You don't know anything seems, about that goddamn Bobby I know Thompson. Everything about it. it just seems very unsportsmanlike. The Giants beat the Dodgers, <laughs> came back, and God, imagine if they did their own radio show run. about sports. I mean, this sounds awesome. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Sean. <laughs> yeah. hey, Roy. Who's the guitar player and winger? The best guitar player they ever had. Uh, well, I mean, there's so Red many. Red Beach. Time! Else that? Time! That's the end of the Roy <laughs> Mac Peppero Sports Hour. <laughs> Roy <laughs> Mac Peppero. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I got my own knowledge. So Reed's going to the Chiefs. Lovey Smith might be going to the Bills. Oh, Lovey. Here's another. A lot of people were surprised by Lovey Smith getting canned. Well,. Andy, yeah, I mean, it's tough to get fired off of a 10-6 season, but, but they were 7-1. and one. Also, so I also did see that uh, he was like 19-40 and 40 against teams with winning records in his career with the... He's Bears. been mediocre. Lovey Smith has been mediocre. Like I would like fire him. Time wins. I just, I just don't want a football coach, which is arguably America's most manly sport, uh -huh. with the first name of Lovey. Oh, but you know like he's uh, some sort of British, you he, know... You know his mom. Hello, Lovey! <laughs> Lovey Smith here. What we gonna do is a quarterback draw. 
<laughs> Lovey Smith is going to put in a bootleg now, all right, Lovey? Lovey Smith? Hello, my name is Lovey Smith. Brian Erlacher has the greatest pair of gums these British eyes have ever seen. Lovey, did you ever think about being a pistol offense? Yeah, Lovey Smith would like a pistol offense with uh, Jay Cutler. I don't think Cutler could Hello. pull that off. Lovey Smith here. I don't know that. You're not even speaking British uh, English. I'm English, and I hate the whole bit. There's a whole bit over there. Listen, He's a whole bit. And there's Frodo and Bilbo oh. and Gamshi and Wamshi and Boyne Jingle and, and Gwingle Thorn. and Klein and Glein and Chewy and Fluey and R2 and, and Small 2 and 3 po and Flea po Aren't talking characters. I know, but when I watch The Hobbit, and I'll save it for the watchers. Well, you can't give it away now. No, Go but on, I'm saying, did every single character have to rhyme? There is like, there's, all of the dwarves rhyme with each other. It's rhyme in pairs, yeah. Today, <laughs> Why? Don't that's be how we want it. <laughs> Grouchy. How am I ever going to remember that? Oh, there's no way you can remember Yeah, it was like, team. there's fluin and bluin and There's everything. just one you got to remember. Thorin. Thorin Oak and Seal. Both the one you got to remember. Today's right, Tolkien's the watchers, birthday. Really. I certainly have been singing the song, though, when they were all in uh, Bilbo's oh, room. Oh, that's awesome. They did. Oh, but I'll be He don't but I'll be no, I'm singing the Lord of Rings song. No. Oh, that wasn't it? No. They're singing about the Lonely Mountain, oh. Smog. Right. Those are a whole different set of dwarfs, dick. Sorry, guys. I don't believe this guy. He's just, it's kind of You're insulting. just trying to screw me up again, Roy. And you come in here prancing like a little pony four minutes late with your goddamn little oh, musician I, tea. I, I, tea. I, need, I need a cup of hot, warm tea, my tea right for my throat. I go, what are you, what are you, what are you, you're not on the goddamn microphone. <laughs> you, you, if you pour the tea on your fingers, I'll understand. Those are the only things I care about. Keep them fit. You think I care about what comes out of the vocal range of Roy Schaefer <laughs> as he coughs? Today's Tolkien's birthday. So. Oh, yeah? Yeah. All right. how, how, how old is he? 900? No, he would have been like 120, <laughs> 21 or something Jesus like that. Christ. Today. His son's like 90. His, he has a son who's still living? Christopher Tolkien, Was yeah. he ever a writer? Uh, no, but he's just basically look, printing out all of his you stuff. Have to. Yeah. I would too. Yeah. Hello, I'm Christopher Tolkien. <laughs> Here's a whole book of maps about Middle Earth that my pa didn't show you. Here's the thing. Uh, this is where Bilbo went, went for a drink of water. Nice. <laughs> And this is where Frodo got his dick socks. Is that Mirkwood? <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> In the tavern there, by Samwise Gamgee's <laughs> whore of a wife. Oh, they were in Hobbiton. Yeah, they were in Hobbiton. <laughs> yeah, I went on a crazy Lord of the Rings uh, uh, viewing. So did I. I saw uh, the Hobbit, then I watched all three in and a the, row. The thing about the Blu-rays is that he never, or at least not to my knowledge, Peter Jackson didn't release... The regular, um, th- you know, regular theatrical movie versions. Oh, they're all of extended. It. They're all the four-hour versions. I never watched the extended versions, and they get long. I mean, uh, yeah, the, you the regular watch, ones seriously. Are long, each disc yeah. is two hours, so you watch two hours, and it says uh, the end of part one of, of you know Fellowship of the Ring, and I'm like, what the hell? I just felt like I watched a movie. Come on, man! I gotta go through the whole thing in yeah. another two hours. Yeah. No, he should have because I, I when the DVDs came out, I did buy the extended versions, and there's some cool parts there. Yeah, but um, ultimately, when I would rewatch them, I would just watch the regular theatrical things because it, it two does, hours and forty five minutes or two hours fifty minutes of Lord of the Rings is enough. He got it. <laughs> two forty five. Yeah. Four hours you don't need. Yeah. yeah, plus there's two more movies after this, and that it's like Apocalypse Redux. Which you just don't need. You don't need the whole French sequence. There's a good reason why Coppola was smart to have cut the, the French sequence out, where it's just uh, French people talking about the Vietnam War. And, uh, they, and stuff. they won't abandon in that, in that mansion. In that mansion, that whole scene? Yeah, that's yeah. right. Oh. Where they're eating we didn't need it. That's the only version I saw. I didn't, we I didn't, we didn't need it. It's yeah. supposed to be in there. That makes sense. Well, you never saw a box now until they came out with the Redux version? Yeah. So. God damn. Let's just talk about sports. The hell. All right. Yeah, seriously, let's go back to sports, guys. Ray Lewis <laughs> is retiring. <laughs> Ray Lewis. Going to ESPN. I give Ray Lewis so much credit. He has totally shook the fact that he was on trial for murder. (laughs) And he has cultivated this almost like uh, a reverend type of image. It's a motivational speaker type thing. Shocking to me. I saw Trent Dilfer 
who was on the 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 freaking Ravens for a cup of coffee. Yes, he won the Super Bowl. But Trent Dilfer was on the team for six months. He started six games. One of them happens to be the Super Bowl. He, you know, he gets a ring. Right but place, he, right he's time, on dude. ESPN saying, Ray Lewis did not just make me a better quarterback, which I think is impossible. As Ray Lewis is a linebacker, you're a QB. Don't know exactly how that, you know, how what type of advice Ray Lewis was giving him. Well, no, he was keeping him off the field. <laughs> but in, yeah, I mean, whatever he said, he says, uh, Ray Lewis didn't just make me a better quarterback. He made me a better man. And I'm like, oh my. God. I believe I, that. I thought this was Jerry Maguire all of a sudden. No, Ray Lewis, wise. I, I kind He's of thought, I, I wanted to remind Trent, did, did he ever talk to you about the murder thing? Huh? The murder? Remember the murder? That wouldn't go over. Does anyone well. remember the murder with that's, Ray Lewis? That's buried. No one will ever bring that up ever I know. Again. No one's forgotten that. Michael Vick, what? The guy electrocutes a couple of goddamn dachshunds already, and no one will forget <laughs> about it. Ray Lewis, you know, a couple of his homies blew people away. He was there. Who knows if he had a gun or not? He's fine. He's, oh, it's, it's, it's Father Lewis enters the room. All hail, goddamn Gandalf Lewis. What? Okay? I ain't gonna be part of it, Hickey. That's so why I do the David Max Sports so Program bring up to, the to, thing to to give constantly? the listeners. Well, I want the listeners not to be, uh, uh, you know, brain, uh, you know, blah. <laughs> washed is that the word you're looking? Yeah, for? right. Washed. Brainwashed by the goddamn mass media. I'm like the Alex Jones of sports, homie. I don't know if you want to be that. <laughs> this guy's pretty crazy. That's right. That's what I'm talking about. Well, Alex, if you're crazy, you can always borrow some of my flow exotines. Come on, let's crush Today, them up. Davey Max Sports Program, sponsored by 20 milligrams of flow exotine capsules, given to me by my doctor. Good for three refills. Really? Before October 2013. Flow exotine. We got to crush them all up then, man. I didn't know you had refills. I didn't see that. <sighs> you know, I was thinking um, that song we were playing. Was not I'm I'm not thinking that was the Lord of the Rings song. It almost sounded like the Doors. Didn't he do the My old Ralph keeps riding heels on? Do you know what I'm talking about at all, Roy? No You're clue. Just staring. No clue. <laughs> Roy yeah. was just staring back at me. Yeah. Roy, Roy didn't get his teeth fast <laughs> enough today, so he's been a bit off. I thought Roy was gonna, you know. Oh yeah, I know it. I thought he was gonna at least attempt to play the keyboards. No, I'm, I'm listening. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes I gotta listen, right? It's not all about me talking. <laughs> You're goddamn box. right. That's the case. <laughs> Chatting away. That's that's the Roy truth. Roy Shaver not shutting up. Yeah, Roy Shaver's chat hour. I know. That's what this goddamn show is gonna be called. Um, you know what's something that I uh, forgot about? What's that? Dan? It's called the sport of hockey. You should have forgotten about it. What a horrible. Horrible sport. And this is why I was guilted. And don't get me wrong. I enjoyed the hockey playoffs last year. My glorious uh, New Jersey Devils got to the Eastern Conference Finals against my glorious New York Rangers. Huh? With my glorious uh, Devils beating the uh, gl- my glorious Rangers, I believe, in six games. So you're just a fan of everyone. Well, fan of whoever of wins. Devils and Rangers, just the way I'm a fan of the Nets and Knicks. Now that... Uh, the Nets, uh, PJ Carlissimo seems to have him on the right track. Maybe I'll go back to the Nets. You never know. You're a scumbag. You know, Amari Stoudemire comes. By the way, Amari Stoudemire, just basketball poison. First game back. Keep, bad him, yeah, keep him away. Keep him on the bench. <laughs> Woodson, keep him on the bench. He is, let, Knicks fans, he is the A Rod of the New York Knicks. You need to somehow get him off the team. Carmelo went for 45 two games 45 ago. 45, and they still and lost. Still lost, yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. It's, it's almost the same thing. Giant contract, injury prone. Who knows if if he was doing any steroids like A Rod? But Amari, every time he joins the team now with Carmelo, he sinks him. Oh, did you see it today in the post? Um, he was saying that for the first time in his career, he's learning defense. <laughs> That's how good. long? Is You're he, what? Long? Thirty-one years yeah. old. Been in the game since what? Eighteen. <laughs> he went straight out of high school. He never thought to learn defense. <sighs> He never learned. He never learned how to play defense. Embarrassing. Um, but yeah, I mean, I was guilted into becoming a hockey fan last year. And people always, Davey Mack, how come we don't talk hockey? How come, what's with the hockey? No hockey, but no hockey. Three strikes or lockouts in 18 years. Nothing should survive that. Three. Nothing. Can you imagine? 
baseball had their f- infamous strike in 94. Huge. So did hockey in 94. Now imagine baseball having two more strikes or lockouts, if you want to get technical, subsequently to that. Baseball yeah. would not be... Ba- baseball right now ha- has, cult- has gotten themselves to the second most popular sport in America. Nothing's going to take Solidly. down football. Okay, nothing's taken down fo- professional football, I should say. But baseball is right there. Hockey was a part of the big four. Hockey's not even in the top seven at this point, in MMA's my opinion. MMA's ahead of it. You have MMA, you have football, college football, MMA, baseball, basketball. college basketball with March Madness, professional basketball, and NASCAR. Horse racing. I, I just named seven. Horse racing. No, yeah. not horse racing, <laughs> you, you gambling degenerate character. From the HBO short-lived series Luck. Love Luck. Right? Which was still on. Which, that show should have just been called Pepper, for crying out loud. We could have followed you around. I would have loved it. I mean, it would have been a pit, pick six. <laughs> you know? I mean, basically, you were the Nick Nolte character. Why don't you buy a horse and try and train it? Oh, that yeah. would be the best. This is a good idea. <laughs> I'll ride it for you. Why not? I'll be the tallest jockey in the whole You bunch. know, um, my uh, wonderful state in New Jersey has approved yet another uh, gambling thing where they're now very close to getting online gambling legal um, where you can bet out of state. So wait, what do you mean? So I could gamble? On sports, too. Sports and horse betting. So in other words, because it's actually uh, against federal rule, you have to be, you know, OTBs are fine, but you play OTBs for New York horses. They shut down mm-hmm. OTBs. Right? Uh, well, OT, OTBs, don't, or the OTB doesn't work anymore. It, it got shut down. No. Okay. Pepper. But but here, here's the point. Yeah. So you you see like, um, hey, there's a, a horse race in Florida, and I want to put some money down. I could do that. You know, you could in bet online. You know? I mean, if you're in New Jersey, you could bet on that Florida race. Nice. Or you could bet on, you know, uh, New Jersey races. I mean, come on, Peppy. <laughs> sports, you got to get a part sports, of this. The sports gambling is what's huge. That's oh, the the that's sports gambling is just awesome. I mean, it's right just now, fantastic. I, I gamble online illegally in a place like Costa Rica, I believe is where I said Whoa! Online. Fancy. Costa Not really. Rica. Not really. It's huh? dicey. Yeah. yeah. Sounds fancy. Yeah, as long as they have the, the servers offshore, right? Yes, yeah, it's, then it's then fine. It's cool. yeah. yeah. So you bet on what? Like you bet uh, you bet Seahawks game. or something like that? Mm, Is, that? that up, huh? <laughs> Is that who you bet? I bet uh, Seahawks, Skins, and then uh, the Pats to cover. Yeah. Last and? weekend, uh, everyone covered but the Seahawks. <laughs> well, so you got two out of three. As yeah, you, don't said. Get, you don't get paid that money out for that. Two but. out of three ain't bad, two bro. Two out of three ain't bad. Hey, I'm two out of three ain't bad. Here's the thing I hate about Meatloaf. He always sings with his nose on the microphone, which is just disgusting to me. Do you ever notice that? Um, well, if you see, well, I've seen him lately. Hey, I'm two <laughs> out of three ain't bad. I've been coming down the ten and a thousand rain. I've been feeling that I've been about a pound and rain. Tell her that I love you to the end of time. I swore that I love you to the end of time. Going with meatloaf songs, I'm not gonna do it. And I will do anything for love. It's disgusting. It's gross. Well, he can't even do it anymore, man. He like he was think doing uh, national anthem or something. And it was just embarrassing. He doesn't have any vocal cords. He, they they had to put Twizzlers connecting his throat that to his stomach. Doesn't seem like that can create sound. <laughs> it's tasty. <laughs> He's a great actor. Especially if you put a nice little Twizzler and some chocolate milk and use a Twizzler as a straw. Sounds disgusting. <sighs> You ain't living, dude. You ain't living. Yes, I'm not. You ever see him in the squeeze? You ever? Uh, Michael, yeah. Michael Keaton. He plays the bad guy. Doesn't talk, but sweats too much. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, Meatloaf is a phenomenal actor. Robert Paulson. I don't care what anyone says. On. Robert Paulson. Black right. Dog. Yeah. His name was Robert Paulson. Pepper gave me a video idea one time that I had to disregard. Uh, the email said, um, uh, "I have an idea uh, that we could do. I'm Meatloaf, and uh, we're." I'm in charge of a meatloaf cover band. Called the Robert Paulson Trio. <laughs> called the Robert Paulson. I think it was a Robert Paulson project. And uh, I love this. And then, no, that was the whole thing. Yeah. I yeah love it. And, and they I, said, I'm screwed up. <laughs> this, <laughs> is, <laughs> this is probably a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> and I just, I just deleted it, and yeah, I never good. brought it up until now. It's good that you deleted it. In <laughs> yeah. hindsight, it's <this> sober. <laughs> 
Well, not I, much I, of a premise. Believe it or not, I was actually interested, but there, there was no nothing else after that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. we needed to see what happens. The Robert Paulson project. Yeah, Any ideas? I had to get more messed up the more ideas. <laughs> yeah, well, do get messed up then. With those pills. <laughs> All right, I'll give you a couple flow exit times if it results in the Robert Paulson project. Yeah. You know, maybe like an hour and a half uh, movie that we could sell, the Miramax sure. or something oh my like God, that. That'd be Got great, but except Miramax doesn't exist anymore. What? Weinstein Company. Oh, God. Sellouts. No, they were forced out by Disney. Oh, man. I tell you how much Andy Reid looks like Wilford Brimley. Did I tell yeah, you that? Did I mention that, that voice? Is this another you rewind? Want to put the picture into the camera? Or? What's that? Picture? No, 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 no. We're good. We're good. Fine. Um, yeah, what did uh, Jim Irsay, the Colts owner, uh, do this time? Okay, he tweeted out a picture of him in a Colts hat and a tight T-shirt and young person jeans with the tweet, it's time to feed the monster. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that man. <laughs> He's the most hateable <laughs> I hate him. human being I take back planet. what I said about Prejoria face Woody Johnson, the Jets owner. Let me see if I can find Jim that Irsay story. is the most dislikable owner in the NFL. Because he is such a jerk off, and the way he twe- uh, he treated Peyton Manning was was such an embarrassment, disgusting to a guy who who was coming off a of neck surgery and gave everything to that rinky dink organization that at the time was rinky dink, and that he basically Peyton Manning made the Colts into the goddamn Yankees. This is the picture of him. Dressed in it looks like an affliction T-shirt of some sort. Yeah, he's wearing one of these wrap. No. Shirts it's like, like a, a, a hardy shirt it's like or a, MMA shirts, affliction. Yeah, so he's he's and then, and then with the message, it's time to let the monster get out of it. And cage. did you mention the fact that his hat is sideways? Yeah, so, somewhat sideways, somewhat askew. His hat, his he has wearing a baseball hat with you know the Colts on it, but it's sideways, like he's a rap man. Yeah. The, this is a fifty-five-year-old Caucasian gentleman. He's being ironic. No, yeah, he's I, not. I don't. <laughs> I don't know what he's cool. doing, but I don't like it. It's the, time to let the monster get out of its cage to feed. You're gross. I mean, I think it's a lock that Colts take ra- take the Ravens. But well, I guess we could do um, our picks. Oh God, this is tough. Do you have any uh, pick music, Sean? Do. do you have like pick blue, music? Bluegrass or something? Or? I got it. sean has got the pick music. It's been a while. Uh... Been a while. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good song. That was uh. Was right there with Stained you. or something like that? Oh, it's our favorite band. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Yeah, yeah, baby. That's the music, my friend. Because uh, we are doing the um, Sirius XM show on Saturday, but there are two games on Saturdays. Yep. So we should make our Saturday picks on this version of the we'll, David Max Sports Program. We'll be on live right after the first game of the day, That's which right. is at 430. That's Bengals at the Texans. Texans are favored by five points. All right. Bengals at the Texans. Cincinnati versus Houston. Let's face it. Houston Texans ended the season poorly. Plus, I always loved WKRP. Thus, Cincinnati 31. Texans 14. Wow. Pepper Stanley. This one's really tough. Andy Dalton hasn't been too impressive last few games of the year. Texan secondary has fallen apart. Okay. The Bengals running game has been solid. All right. Will JJ Watt destroy Andy Dalton, the Red Rocket? I don't know. And I hate that nickname. He's the it's Red Rocket. It's offensive. Mind you, it's Red Rocket. Because, yeah, we're, they're calling me and Andy Dalton and all redhead people dog dicks. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we don't think we don't know what the Red Rocket means, jerks. I'm sick of it. Give me the Bengals. I Bengals! Feel like the Bengals! I feel like. Score! Jo- Oof. Bengals, 24. Whoa. Houston, 21. Oh, close game. It's going to be a close Shut game. Shut up. But the Bengals well, are from my research, the Bengals are playing well, and the Texans are also playing well. Okay. But from my research. I mean, that would be why they're both in the playoffs. That's right. But I'm going to go with the Bengals. Bengals. That's right. Uh, oh Bengals, God. I'm going 28. 28. Uh, Texans, 3. Texans, 3. Big, big blowout there. That's... <laughs> Scary. <laughs> I'm going with Cincinnati on this one. Cincinnati? We're all in agreement. What's the score? This is 17 weird. to 17? 6. 17 6. Two field goals for the Texans. 
or a touchdown and a missed extra point, yeah. or three safeties. Which is it? Three safeties. <laughs> <laughs> that is the greatest prop bet of all time. <laughs> Seriously, can I bet you $2,000? I don't have the money, but I promise you I'll get it. I would take that bet, right? <laughs> and then what's the other game? The other game is... The 8 o'clock game. Yeah. That'll be on to the second half of our live show. Sirius XM, the Opie and Anthony channel, this Saturday, 7 Eastern, 4 p.m. Sirius 206 XM 105, David Max Sports Program, XL Live, every Saturday. The Minnesota Vikings. The Minnesota Vikings. The Purple People Eaters. At. At. Lambeau Field with the Green Bay Packers. Lambeau Field, the Frozen Tundra. Packers, favored by eight. Packers, favored by eight. This is not going to be... Whatever you do, do not bet the spread in, 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 in favor of the Packers. I am telling you this is going to be a close game. The Vikings recently beat the Packers. The first game that they played was close. Adrian Peterson has the Packers number. First shock pick of the playoff season. Vikings 21, Packers 17. Whoa. Whoa. That's nuts. Shocking everybody. Minnesota Vikings. I've been shocked and jocked. Shocked, jocked, sucked, and fun. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Sean. I didn't want to make you <laughs> get to your fucking bleep board. <laughs> oh, you ruined it, Dave. I'm sorry. Mark that one. Mark the one I said. You <laughs> Vikings shocked the Packers this past Sunday. That's what I said. 21 17. This Sunday? This Sunday. Or this Saturday, rather. This Saturday. I think the Vikings blew their load. <laughs> Ew. Whoa. Everywhere. Gross. Vikings? Just thinking about the actual Vikings Pond blowing well, loads. That's what they did. Ponders. Oh, is disgusting. AP is the man. Adrian Peterson is the man. He'll do says some, Chris Pepper Stanley. He'll do some things. Purple Jesus. Purple Jesus I'm, says Chris Pepper. I'm taking the Packers and the points. They're going to win. Whoa! Okay. Packers and the points. What's the score? Packers. 35. 35. Wow. Vikings, 17. 35-17. Wow. Sean O. Uh, I got to go Packers as well. Packers? They've also been playing well. Yes. Like the Vikings. Uh, yes. They've been playing well during the yes. playoffs. What's, You're right. What are you, guys, what are you talking about? <laughs> okay. I'm talking what's about research. Score? Just research give us the I've score. Done. Just give us the score. Right, we actually know what's happening. <laughs> what Packers, 14. Packers, 14. Vikings, 3. So Vikings, 3. If that score happens, I'll bet you $2,000. Okay. I want 2000 with you and, and Roy's crazy three safety game. And Roy... Finally, Green Bay Packers, Minnesota Vikings. Vikings, uh, 21 to 17. <laughs> that was my score. Oh, it was a, whoa. All right. Well, then it's, then it's official. <laughs> I, I don't weird. know why I asked Sean this or Roy for your picks. I didn't know that was your numbers. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was the exact same score. Whoa. I think we are. <laughs> we got this, Roy. Let's just. You just never, I mean, you never want to, you, you never take it seriously, do you? you totally serious. And you upset me every single time. Do you want to rewind one more time? Start rewind. Time. Start the show again. No, end the goddamn show. That's what you we'll sure? do. Yeah, that's what I'm sure. I got stuff to do. Got some flow oxytine to crush. All right, right, ladies and gentlemen. Again, Davey Max Sports Program XL live every Saturday. Sirius XM, Sirius 206 XM 105. Open Anthony Channel, 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific. Me and Pepper shall be there. Kill it. Um, Twitter.com at Eastside Dave. For the Davey Max Sports Program, Davey Mac. Yeah. Chris Pepper Stanley, Shadow, Roy Shaver, Josh Eldridge, everybody. Good night.